Yo, what's up, everybody? Let me know if you can hear me and see me because literally doing this on the fly is a little bit difficult. <clears throat> if you can hear me and see me, leave a thumbs up or like type the number one or something. Just type anything in the chat. And uh, slow mode is on, so that it will prevent spammers from putting 55 messages on. They have a 15-second delay. Um, if you can hear me and see me, let me know. And you can tell me what country you're watching from. That would be greatly appreciated. Okay, is is the audio level good or do you want me to turn it up a little bit or turn it down a little bit? Yeah, I'm drinking beer. I mean, they give you these little glasses, so I don't really count it as a beer. So basically, I'm not drinking beer. And yes, I have a ton of sunscreen on my face because like, I don't know what it is, but like I got these like brown stains blotches or whatever right here and it's really weird and it's kind of freaking me out and i don't want to be like multicolored. i'm fine with one color tan damn geez netherlands south africa zimbabwe cyprus costa rica south africa usa i think we had a good time for the usa also iraq Nigeria, Puerto Rico, Morocco, New York, Indonesia. Yeah, I'm, we're pretty much hitting like the East Coast of watch time. So, yes, I agree. Beer is not alcohol. It's like a thirst quencher. Yeah, I seriously had to like slather it on today because I don't know that that like brown. I had like a brown stain come out here. And then like a little one here and I'm like, all right, I'm, I'm pretty much afraid of that skin disease where like you start literally losing pigment in your flesh and you start turning Michael Jackson. I don't, I don't want that. So I've been wearing my hat all day. This is how I wear my hat. This is, this is me normally in real life. IRL. <laughs> All right. Um, so we got 200 likes or 200 thumbs up, 200 reactions on the live stream or on the, the general chat of Pip Hunter. So I'm here to 227. Hot damn. All right. You get to see me in my in my chill, relax mode. I wear hats 99% of the time. The only time I do not wear a hat is when I am recording videos. Because I don't want to be seen as like some fucking fogey. This is, th this is how I usually wear my hat. Ready? I tuck my ears. Always have a snapback. It's got to have a green bill because if you don't have a green bill, are you even wearing a hat? So this is me normally, like this is my day to day. So if you ever see me, this is how I look. All right. Um, we got 20, 284 concurrent viewers, 277. Hot damn. Let's get that number to 20K. So this is me normally. Um, I know there's been a bunch of questions, but the chat is exploding. So post your questions now. I'm going to start answering them. Anything regarding my lifestyle, my health, uh, vacations, balancing your work life. Um, I'm not going to give any signals or what I think of charts because I don't have my charts open and I don't have like the dual screens. So like any Pip Hunter questions. Uh, investments long term or scalping versus four hour, like whatever you guys want to know, let me know. I see a lot of gold USD. If you've been trading for less than six months, don't even 
fucking touch that. Like, it's dangerous. Yes, I am very similar to best Jeff Bezos, but his wallet is a lot fatter than mine. And if you guys could do me a favor, share this live stream so more people can get on. Like all the people that you know from Perfect Entry or whatever group that you're in, just send a link and that would greatly, greatly increase my confidence in myself. All right. Um, Ola Bode. I'm doing very well. I'm on vacation. I'm starting to relax. It takes me like three, four, five, six days to like stop my brain from thinking about work and actually get into like relaxing and so I can like lay on the beach and not stress myself out. So when you're a workaholic like I am, it takes a long time for me to get to that position of relaxing. So I haven't gotten there yet, but I'm close and this concoction is helping a little bit. Um, yes, this is a hat video. So if you're not wearing a hat, you definitely should put it on. Um, how long did it take me to get consistently profitable? Who okay. So there's the definition consistently profitable. Um, I traded for a good year and would constantly lose. So I would say that's consistently lossable. And then something clicked something. I think it was when I realized divergences were my main strategy and my goal. So once I realized divergences and implemented that with all that I had learned over the past year, that dramatically improved my consistency rate. And so then I started like really tracking and journaling and like seeing why I entered. And usually the ones with divergences was the, the trades that worked out best for me. That's why I, I push journaling and I push divergences so much on you guys so that you can start seeing that. Cause once you can start seeing that off of the top of your head, the better it's going to be. So I would say at the end of last year, is when I really started to become consistently profitable. And I know like this YouTube channel is new and everything, but like the reason I'm good at this YouTube thing is because I can teach well, is because I can teach from my mistakes. And I wanna teach you guys all my mistakes so that you can become consistently profitable. And at the end of last year, like September, October, I started to really implement everything, the strategies, the rules, the, the, the divergences, all of that, all of those things. And that's what got me to like the plus 50 percentile of, of my win rate. So like now I'm sitting between 76 and like 87% success rate on my trades. And it's consistent. Like I'm getting nice, consistent income from it. Uh, how to buy Pip Hunter, you can go to the Discord link below this video and see the link to the, the, the Discord group for Pip Hunter and go to the shop section. Um, what do you think about starting trading paying with? No, do not start trading with paid signals. It's a bad idea. Uh, what do you think about VWAP? I'm going to be doing a video on VWAP later, so I'm just going to put that on the back burner. Um, nice to meet you too. Um, what platform are you trading? I do all of my analysis on trading view and then I jump onto my MT4 and it doesn't matter what the difference is between the price. I will enter an order with my stop loss and take profit according to what I see on trading view. Um, options trading or equity trading. I mean, options are nice. Um, I would stick to just like regular, like what we do on TradingView and MT4. Like choose a broker, get on there and trade that. Uh, Pip Hunter or Lux Algo. Here's the thing, ready? Pip Hunter, Lux Algo. 
Pip Hunter has all of the fucking resources that you need, as well as a community where you can ask questions and get advice, as well as back testing specific strategies. Where whereas Lux Algo has, you know, their indicator, but then it's kind of do it yourself. So they give you all of the tools, but you need to figure it out on your own. Whereas Pip Hunter gives you specific strategies as well as the community. So of the two, both are great. I would suggest Pip Hunter because of all the other benefits through the Discord that you get. Um, oh shit, dude, this chat is blowing the fuck up. I can't handle this. Um, sorry if I miss your question, by the way. Um, how can I fight against hesitation on every trade I want to enter? Um, you want to get to a place where you're trading on demo that you can just systematically like, these are my rules. I have five rules. Did it meet at least four of them? If it met at least four of them, enter my trade with my take profit and my stop loss. And if you really struggle with it, enter the trade and walk away and check it tomorrow. You're going to be doing one trade a day, and that's really going to help your mental state. Why don't you trade directly from TradingView instead of MT4? Because on TradingView, only specific brokers are allowed on there to tie in together. Mine does not. I use Osprey linked down below. If you don't want to use them, don't. They're unregulated, so a lot of people have a stick up their ass about that. Um, but yeah, only specific brokers allow you to trade through MT4. It's not necessary. I know it's super convenient and easy. I just don't because it's super easy and convenient for me to go onto TradingView, set up my trade, open my MT4 app, enter a trade with my stop loss and take profit, and then put my phone away. Like that's the only reason I use my phone for phone for trading. Um, what are my rules? My rules are check this out. Ready? I've explained this at least a hundred fucking times in my videos. But say the two hundred moving averages is, is going like this, right? And then the candlesticks break through the two hundred, right? And then I have my other moving averages, my twenty one and my fifty. So as the price breaks through the 200, I'm waiting for the 21 and the 50 to break through that 200 as well. And then once the 200 or once the price comes back down, because it's going to break through the 200 and then come back down. And once it hits that 21 or like the 50 and then starts rejecting off of it with like a three line strike, that's my trade. And that's money in the fucking bank, guys. Money in the bank. Um, whoa, Jesus. This chat keeps jumping like crazy. I don't like this. Mm. Woo! I like beer. I'm not a big alcohol guy like tequila and vodka. I fucking love beer, though. Abdul F, are you vegan? So I've definitely struggled with my weight my entire life. I used to be like the super fat kid with the 2XL Dragon Ball Z t-shirt. So I know how that's like or what it's like for all of you guys that are overweight and obese or whatever. Like I get it. Um, you have to see what works best for your body. And for me... I eventually landed on a ketogenic diet, but I've tried a juice fast. I've tried vegetarian. I've tried vegan. I've tried paleo. I've tried that like summer California bullshit, uh, cayenne pepper and lemon juice and maple syrup diet. That that's horrible. Um, I've tried the dash diet. Like I've tried, I want to say 15 different diets. And then once I landed on ketosis, which wasn't even called that when I started, like I got into keto before it was like trending. 
And so if you guys watch my video, the one thing I actually have a PDF link of like the keto diet that I recommend link down below. That's kind of the direction that I wanted to go with my like social perspective. But yeah, keto for me is fantastic. Vegetarian worked for a while, vegan worked for a while, but I ended up losing energy long term. How long have I been trading? Uh, I've been trading since, fuck, just over two years, I want to say, um, because of the job that I had and what it forced me to do and learn. And then I realized the potential and the way that I learn, that's why I'm so good at teaching. The way that I learn is, okay, take this information, get the important parts, and can I teach somebody else with it? So that allows my retention to be higher on all of the topics. And it, it just helps me learn better. So I learned a ton. I made a ton of mistakes. And then through those mistakes and learning, I'm allowed to teach now. And I'm not going to say I'm the best teacher, but I'm pretty fucking good. Like if I had a teacher like me, oh man, I'd be happy. I'd be really, really stoked. Like if I would have found my YouTube channel two years ago, I wouldn't have lost $26,000. Uh, yes, you can only use the three line strike instead of actually just engulfing candles. Um, can't find US 30 on MT5. Uh, it depends on your broker. Sometimes your broker doesn't allow US 30. I don't know what Haikano trade is. Uh, you should start with Forex, then go to binary options. If you want to actually go into binary options, it's super risky. Gold is toxic, yes. Don't trade with signals. Uh, 15 minute is the best time frame for accuracy. Uh, you do not mark up support and resistance on the one minute chart. You do it on the one hour and then you work down from there. Dude, the food is fucking ridiculous here. I've been to so many all-inclusive resorts in my life, and it is absolutely absurd how good the food is here. Every single day, you have like grilled chicken, grilled steak, grilled fish of every variety, as well as like mixed vegetables, and then they have a whole sauce station, and then all your carbohydrates, you got pasta, you got quinoa, you got rice, like everything you can imagine, and then a full salad bar with like 15 different kinds of salad with all of the dressings and all of the additions, and then their dessert section I'm trying not to look at, but it looks fucking amazing from a distance. Basically, anything you could imagine, like, oh, I wake up and I have, you know, I want this for lunch. They have it. And you can make everything. Oh, dude, the sauces. My God, the sauces. The food here is the best food I've ever had at any all-inclusive resort and or restaurant in my life. Um, how to balance with job and trading if the main session is UK. Okay. What I want you to do, because if, okay, say you're in UK, right? You have a nine to five job. By the time your job is like almost over, New York session starting, right? So like start to look at the charts and then get into New York session because you don't want to trade Asian session. So trade New York session. How many trades do you place a day? Ooh, it used to be like 15 to 20 trades a day, scalping on the one minute, and then I moved to the five minute. But then I realized that the 15 minute with my divergence indicators, woo wee, 15 minute with divergences, and you don't need my indicator, you can just use an RSI line. If you find a divergence on the 15 minute, that shit works out all the time. Hidden divergences are badass and regular divergences are okay. But you gotta wait for the trend line to break. Watch my RSI videos. Um, any strategies used for scalping? Dude, if you use that scalping strategy that Christy created for gold and Ethereum, 
you will be making money hand over fist. I use MT4 for trading and um, trading view for my analysis. From India, what do you think about? Uh, I don't know what that is. Um, Jesus. I didn't realize it was going to be this many fucking questions. Um, why are there so many fake Telegram accounts? Because people see my popularity and they see my growth and they want to, um, they're like leeches. They suction cup onto your skin and they suck your fucking blood out. And uh, yeah, basically there's going to be a lot of fake Instagram accounts. There's going to be a lot of fake uh, Telegram accounts. There's going to be a lot of fake YouTube comments. Like if you have a YouTube channel, there's definitely going to be a dude named the moving average that's going to comment on your videos and is going to tell you to like hit me up on WhatsApp. And if anybody tells you to hit you up on WhatsApp or direct message them or ask for Bitcoin, all of that, if it sounds like you're getting bamboozled, <laughs> you're getting bamboozled. Uh, I don't trade on Binance. I, I have all of my crypto on Binance. But when I do day trade, I trade on Bybit because they have uh, higher volume and higher, like a better spread for me. Like when I'm doing my day trading, I have some money on Bybit and I have 99% on Binance, like long term holding. Um, will you be more content swing trade? Dude, I, I really want to push more swing trading and intraday con content because I am a one minute scalping machine as well as a five minute scalping machine. But when it comes to the potential of an intraday trade or the potential of a swing trade, holding it for multiple days, if not a week, it's huge. And so if you maintain the same risk management and go for those huge swing trades, especially with the hike and ashy chart. Woo! So I'm going to eventually roll into more of that. But for right now, I'm known as like the scalping guy. Um, failed first funding, going to be doing another funding. Jesus. Okay, I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to scroll down all the way to the bottom. How can I stay positive in the losing streak? Understand that losing is part of a game. Fucking get over it. When you say 76%, you mean 1 to 5? No, 1 to 2. What strategy works on only US 30? It doesn't really matter. US 30 is super trending, so like you can do. Scalping on gold using Christie's strategy. Uh, literally just rewatch the video multiple times. If you're wondering about the Christie strategy, does the strategy only work on us 30 scalping strategy? Explain, bro. How are you? Thanks for sharing. Blah, blah, blah. Um, what time frame can you use the three line strike five minute and above, uh, binary versus Forex, which will be more profitable long-term, uh, Forex because your binary broker is going to be a little bit. Mm, fucky. Um, tell us more about your funding. T I'll, I'll, I'll do a funding talent segment when I get back. Uh, to deal with negative parents, literally just like listen to them and say, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. ignore what the fuck they say and do what you want to do. Cars, cars. The question was cars or motorbikes, cars. Uh, how much can I gain from a hundred thousand funded account? If you're risking two percent, you're doing it right. You can, I don't know, two grand a month, minimum. Um, how does the strategy work? La, 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 la. Watch the video again. I've tested your strategy and it doesn't work. I strongly believe that you don't use that strategy. I've tested more than three hundred times. Okay, good for you. My strategy like is rules based, but it takes like a freaking brain to do also. So if you've been doing it wrong, you've been doing it wrong. 
Um, steps to the intermediate trader and professional. Dude, seriously, watch the intermediate playlist and then practice for a month. Literally give up everything. Do not trade a live account and do it for a month and see what happens. Actually, let's do this. I've been thinking about this for weeks. Are you ready for this? Everybody, leave a, uh, the number one in the comment section if you are ready to me, for me to like literally give you fucking money, okay? Put a number one in the comment section. I literally want it to explode right now. I'm gonna give you guys some money. And now, I, this is me like telling you, okay, let's, let's prove our worth here. Let's get right into the nitty gritty of it. Are you willing to take what it, are, are you willing to do what it takes to get to the profitable level? I want to see comment section right now explode to number one. Okay, one, 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 one. I see two so far. Three, four, five, six. Okay, there we go. Do I have your guys' attention? Yeah? Look at that. There we go. Okay. I like what I'm seeing. I'm glad I have your attention. Okay? Listen. I have money, okay? I don't need the money from YouTube ads. I'm trying to teach people to not have so easy to trade. I'm trying to teach you guys what I know, plain and simple. I've put out 115 videos of what I know. So at the end, uh, at the end of my vacation, which is ending at the beginning of October, I got another two and a half weeks Okay, if you can take those two and a half weeks and day trade on a $25,000 demo account today, starting right now, if you open up a $25,000 demo account and you write down every single trade and you track every single trade in a trading journal and you have a consistent strategy that's rules based. And at the end of my vacation, I'm going to ask you for an email saying how many trades you took, what's your win loss rate, what strategy did you maintain, and did you have a trading journal? I will pick five of those people that emailed me and literally pay for their funded $25,000 challenge funded account. Okay? So let's just go for that. I'm going to end this stream now because I've answered enough questions. And I'm going to go drink some more beer and have lunch with my family. So love you guys. Thank you so much. And we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. See ya. See ya. See ya. See ya.